Hey guys, it's Matthew here once again with a quick update on the character I picked to start with, which is the Ice Shot Deadeye, and also some discussion about the new league mechanic, Crucible, um, my experiences with it, my thoughts on it, etc. First of all, let me just take care of the Deadeye action. Uh, Ice Shot, bow leveling, has been pretty smooth, like all the way through the uh, campaign. I obviously opted for some less life throughout it, but that's kind of how it is. You don't really need a lot of life as a ranged um, Deadeye type character, just build some good damage. Uh, we went the non-crit route to begin with and it had more than enough damage for everything um, up to the start of the mapping content. Uh, obviously there's crucible issues here or there, but um, we'll get to those in a sec. So Ice Shot seemed good, picked up Vile Ice Shot. It's a bit of a novelty. I don't know if it's going to really solve too many of our single target issues, but it is pretty fun and it does give you a bit of extra burst. So I've been using Totems for Ice Shot and I've been using Vile Ice Shot as well to help myself out. But for the most part, running and gunning with just um, a bunch of proj uh, throughout my ascendancy, bit of chain. I've yet to get into Vengeant, Cascade and Pierce. Apparently it's pretty nutty. So by the time I get there, maybe Ice Shot's gonna have a huge power spike for us and will take us all the way. Uh, the character, like I said, went non-crit and basically didn't change gear up to level 80, so really trash gear uh, throughout the first few tiers of maps. I then respect into crit, and since then have been um, getting bigger and better damage, and it's been feeling pretty good. About 3k life or some shit. We'll be getting um, probably grace and a bit more defensiveness soon once I can make a bit of money, but um, about level 85 or some shit, getting up to like yellow tier maps. Um, and killing everything I can, including tough as fuck crucibles. So it's been a nice starter, and I've heard good things from the other two as well. Uh, Spectral Throw, unfortunately, it was bugged for the first few hours of the league, where it was only hitting like one time, and it's supposed to hit multiple times. So um, if you started out with Spectral Throw right near the start of the league and it felt terrible, my apologies. It's obviously not my fault, but still, I led you down the uh, wrong path of a skill that was immediately bugged and then fixed so it's better now it took a few hours to fix but it works fine as it should and uh, spectral throw starters have been going okay besides that now on to the crucible uh the league mechanic is it's okay it it has some good stuff to it and it's got plenty of bad stuff as well um it was immediately obvious right off the bat that um they didn't fully consider some of the implications of the um, scaling and the way the crafting works. So I did pop a full crucible as much as I could right off the coast at level 2 and it was like a 5 minute encounter for my character of just near death experiences and doing damn near nothing. Now of course they will fall back and like to fall back at this stage on player decision, player power in choosing your decisions about how hard you can make things for yourself, but I think there still needs to be an upper limit on what you can do there. And currently, top tier Crucible content, when you fully charge a Crucible, is a bit out of line, a bit out of whack with everything else in the game. Um, as you can see, this monster here, my character by this point of the game is like steamrolling the game, just you know, white tier maps blasting through everything, but you get the wrong Crucible mod and um, you get the wrong rare. Uh, and it might just slow your gameplay down and be the toughest thing you're going to face in the next fucking 10 levels. There's a fully juiced metamorph. That's what used to be a tough encounter, um, and this is what tough encounters are these days. Um, Crucible, when you don't fully charge it up, seems to be not too dangerous. When you fully charge it up, it hits this sort of threshold where it goes into... Um, like 98% delirium territory. It feels something akin to doing... Uh, delirium or simulacrums or some shit and going from like 80% to 100% and all of a sudden everything takes no damage and deals quite a lot. And the issue with that as well is the charge up of the crucible is a bit iffy. So you're charging it up, you can stop at any time, but it can keep going and finish off the pathings that it started and then hit a big monster because it's like based off of um, charging up through monsters. Uh, the monsters that it creates gives more crucible juice or whatever. So if it hits the right monster, the wrong monster, uh, it'll just top off its 
power level meter whatever it, it's a bit jank the ui on that and uh, there should probably just be options to like tick a 25 or 50 or 75 or 100 percent of the crucible that you're going to try and juice immediately you still do have to waste a bunch of time trying to charge it up that Personally, it hasn't really bothered me too much because I know what's on the other end. It's a big, tough encounter. So you're standing there, you're charging up, you're looking at what mobs are getting spawned. So that time uh, frame hasn't really bothered me too much, but it does bother a lot of people. And either than that, it still um, is a bit weird on how you charge it up. So the problems are definitely with some of the power scaling. It does drop some loot, but obviously a lot of people have been complaining uh, that not enough. It drops you know a few rares or some shit usually it's been filtered out so you're not actually seeing anything it's very xp heavy on the rewards though so when you do kill a big crucible mob um and took a long fight you usually do get a real big chunk of xp out of it so that's not too bad but the encounters are definitely just a bit out of whack with everything else like i said they give us the choice but you know given the choice we usually want to go maximum and get max reward max encounter whatever and it's pretty out of line it's like five times harder than a red beast for example like a bad crucible mob can be five times harder than a red beast like literally five times and that just seems really different <laughs> given that you're running around you kill a map boss map boss is like a 15th of an encounter to a strong crucible mob and then on top of that the crucible mobs aren't really designed for the way you're going to be fighting them like think of a boss encounter think of a map boss it's got an arena it's got certain attacks you know what the attacks are you're kind of playing around it you can dodge them crucible encounters you're likely fighting several mobs in an unpredicted location it could be a smaller map could be a smaller room there are attacks you don't know what are happening yet there's going to be overlaps there's going to be things you can't really avoid getting hit by and it makes for a very messy system so the, there should be some, some power tuning and scaling there, I think. Like, my character isn't very strong, but it shouldn't be able to um, clear everything else like a breeze and then struggle on those by a factor of five times just because, well, I don't know, we wanted to make it challenging. Something like that. So there's a bit of issues there. Aside from that, the actual crafting system itself um, with Crucible, it's not too bad, but it was pretty immediately obvious once again while leveling that... You're not going to be interacting with this all the time, and you're not going to be doing it all the time. Um, because as soon as I had a weapon that I put on, and I'm not going to be upgrading my weapon for a bit, you're mostly just running past the crucibles. And you're like, well, I can't do anything right now. I don't have another weapon. I don't can't upgrade this weapon anymore. And you're just stuck, like, not interacting with it. And I immediately saw that for any character I was going to be playing after this, like the second character, third character, 15th character, chances are there's very little crucible action that you're going to be doing while leveling up. I'm probably going to try and force it um, because it's good XP and still a bit of a fun encounter aside from the um, rewards themselves. But it is um, easily skippable and kind of hard to engage with. Like you will have to go out of your way to force yourself to be doing this. And that is in and, in and of itself a bit of an issue. I think the reward system itself isn't too bad. Like the crucial passive trees are cool. The power creep that it can give is cool. The min maxing of a weapon trying to get your particular crafted weapon or particular base to a level that you want to proceed with is not too bad. There's some good reward there and it will quite likely yield some very, very powerful items down the line and more and more powerful characters than we've ever seen. But it's a bit of a side content. It's um, probably a type of league that should have been released with um, a bunch of endgame improvements or you know additions like new bosses new atlas system some shit like that so there is a bit of a problem with that one it's just a bit small in scale for anyone that's not doing end game crafting or anyone that's not constantly trying to um, meticulously upgrade their own gear at the time so i um, not sure if there's too much else to say about the crucible right now i did end up doing the fusing of an item fusing of one tree once uh, it was a very tough last encounter and it was worthwhile you do get to um, combine trees and then make more stronger items i think that could be a bit more common um, and on top of that the unique item problem is um, a bit of a problem to put unique items into a crucible tree you need a certain 
uh, map, I think, and you can't to begin with. So then a lot of people that are running unique weapons, um, especially during the campaign, during the content to begin with, you just aren't interacting with Crucible much at all. I think they made a bit of a mistake with that one. It should have been like put uniques in and maybe it takes more XP to level up the Crucible trees or some shit. But um, there's a big missed opportunity there, I think, as well. So I don't think there's plenty of issues with Crucible. I think it's got potential. Uh, I'd say we're going to have to wait and see what the um, patch for the League is going to do in the next few days or week or two or something. Uh, because there's no doubt going to be some kind of a patch, I think. Especially with all the outcry and um, some of the problems that are somewhat easily fixable. So it's just going to depend on what they choose to change, upgrade, downgrade, whatever it is and um, how much more fun it is. But all that aside, I think the base game is still so big and so fun that you can easily still find lots to do and play in Path of Exile. A new league um, just wipe and start fresh and all that is fun for its own sake because it's a whole fresh new economy, fresh new character, you're rebuilding everything. And there's just so much league content, so much end game that you can easily skip one piece of league content and then find fun in the others. For example, haven't done much heist recently or haven't done much delve recently. I've been meaning to, but usually there's only so much I can focus on throughout one league. Might do some of that um, or, you know, farm certain other strategies, Atlas strategies, end game bosses. So I think PoE is still in a pretty good place, but this league mechanic on launch was a bit of a miss to begin with. We'll see what happens with the updates, but um, there's potential there. And uh, I do like the item tree customization scaling stuff for the most part i think i've seen a lot of you know wide downsides that's bad not enough power creep and all that i don't think that's too accurate i think there's lots of creep here there's lots of positives and big swinging upsides for the most part that's okay the system itself probably needs a lot of work to be um fully digestible by everyone else um, and with that, I will just say my Ice Shot starter is still going. It's a crit version. It's going towards the um, passive tree I posted as the endgame version. The gear is nothing really too special yet, but uh, when there's a bigger update, I will hopefully give you one. You can otherwise just check my character, um, import it through Path of Building using the account Mathel, and uh, see for yourself. That was a lot of ranting. Hope you guys enjoyed the rant. Hope you're otherwise enjoying Crucible League. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.